Hello everyone and welcome back to another VSTAR 650 video. Today we're going to be talking about oil changes, one of the most common maintenance activities that should be conducted on this motorcycle, something easy enough that anybody can do it. For this oil change, we're going to be replacing the filter as well. I'm going to be using Yamalube 10W40 for this task. This particular bike happens to belong to my wife and as I narrate through this procedure, my wife will be doing the oil change and filter replacement of this motorcycle, so let's get started. Two things I would like to discuss right quick, however. Number one, the manual does talk about letting the bike heat up before conducting the operations on these Yamahas before you change the oil. My thing is this, first of all, you could do whatever you want. I'm not telling you what to do. But my thing is, this bike was at full temperature the last time it was shut off, Gravity has pulled all of the oil into the pan right now. I have all the time in the world to let this oil drain. I do not want to turn on the bike to circulate all of this old oil through the system right before I'm about to drain it. I can open up the nut on the bottom of this and let this oil drain for however long I want to because gravity has already taken this all the way down. This bike hasn't been run in about a week. So my feeling is why do I want to turn it on right now and and disperse all that old oil that I'm about to get rid of through the entire system when it's already in the pan. There are folks that'll argue because it's thinner, uh, more of the matter, particulate matter that's in the oil and the pan and whatnot will drain out. Any sludge that's in the pan is not going to come out if it didn't already detach itself when it was heated up last time. It's, it's already gonna stay in there regardless. And if you're talking about particulate matter, it should have been captured in the filter the last time the bike was run. Well, you have a serious filtration problem. This is not an air-cooled VW motor that has no oil filter in it. Okay, so that's my stance on that. Again, do what you'd like, but if I've got this bike sitting here a week, I'm not about to flush the entire system full of old oil that I'm about to get rid of. End of my rant. The other thing I like to mention is if you're new to this, you're going to need uh, something that has a low enough profile to get under the bike once you drain the oil. This is a, an old uh, bucket for a mop that was damaged and I've since cut it shorter so it rolls under the bike. This one's on its last leg. I'll have to make another one shortly, but have something like this ready. The standard full-size ones that you get at AutoZone are not gonna fit under your bike to do this. Don't think you're gonna have a small container to be able to capture all of the oil. You're gonna make a mess. So get something like this situated. As with Stan, I do not have a short 17 to do this. So my wife is going to demonstrate with an 18 just to show you how this is done. I'm gonna show from both sides of the bike so we can clearly see this. And then we're gonna do it with a crow's foot for the actual bike here. So she's going to put the short spanner on the 17 and then gently tap with a hammer towards the rear. That's the direction you'd be tapping until the nut was loosened. I'll show from the other side now. So here she's gonna put the 17 on the nut and then with the hammer tapping towards the rear in that direction just enough to loosen the nut, gently tapping of the hammer. And that's how you loosen the nut on the bike so you're able to finger turn it loose. I actually can't find my 17, so I'm using a crow's foot. If you have a crow's foot like this, you could also put it on there to loosen it as we're going to now. It's not as easy. I recommend you get the short 17. Go ahead. You're just loosening the, the, the nut. There you go. Very good. Now you just could give it a couple of turns with the finger. That's it. Just a couple turns till you, till you feel like you could finger loosen it. Oh yeah, um, Very good. Loose. Now what you're going to do is you're gonna take that basin that's behind you, right? And you're gonna pre-position it under there. Now you have to stick your hand under. I'm gonna come around, one minute. And now pre-positioned under the nut, it's gonna turn that nut loose, let it fall right into the pan with the oil. Very good. And we're gonna let this drain as long as we want. We'll come back whenever we want, when, when I'm in no rush. Let that pan drip out forever. The next thing we're gonna do is swap out the oil filter and it's gonna start by removing this cover here. There are three screws on the cover and they are T4. Oops. I 
Removing the cover exposes three more screws. They are T5. Up top, you see a screw all the way up front. This one? Yep. And then one on the bottom by the by the exhaust pipe. Make sure they're all the same size when you remove them. Oh, See, that's no. longer, so that's middle. This top, middle. The screws are different sizes, so be sure to remember when you remove them, what order they were under this cover. That's the bottom screw. So it looks like the top and bottom screw are the same size and the middle screw is really long. Now you'll do the front one on the bottom. There you go. It's a little awkward because the exhaust pipe is right there. Put that separate. And then the front one on the top. That's a long one. Very good. Full of screws removed. Gently pry the cover away with your fingers. Very gently. Pull it back. You can pull that cover there a little bit. There you go. A little oil comes out. Pull that cover away. And very nice. Let's show the cover for the folks on the camera. There we go. There's the cover. And we can see the oil seal is broken and a little bit of oil did come out onto the floor. Just a tiny bit. We want to make sure that we do have something under there when we pull that cover away because a little bit of oil did come out and I will show where that happened. This is where the oil seal broke when we pulled the cover off and just a little bit came out right over there. No problem at all. Now she's going to pull the oil filter out straight out from the bike. She should provide very little resistance. And she's going to drop it right into that oil pan right there. And we're going to take a uh, clean paper towel. We're going to clean that out. And we're just going to put it in there and just let it absorb any of the oil that's in there. We're going to leave it alone for now while we clean up the mess we made on the floor with a different piece of paper towel. She's gone in with paper towel and cleaned out any of the remaining oil, any soot, any debris that's in there. The cavity for the oil filter is now nice and clean. We're going to put a new oil filter in there now. It's going to be going in just like this with that black foam piece sticking outward, the metal ledge facing inward. Turn it around so we can see the metal ledge. That metal ledge is facing inward. Just like that. There's a lot of oil and sludge and contaminants that, that build up right here by the filter. We can see that. This is gonna have to be cleaned out very well. Inside of the cover has now been cleaned up. We're gonna put the cover back on. We're gonna loosely fit all of the screws back in and then we're gonna turn in the slack. Yep. Now she can take the slack out. I forgot them all. I figured this is a good time to teach my wife how a torque wrench works. So this is uh, 84 inch pounds or 10 newton meters. I've got it set up for her. She's going to torque down the ones that are possible. I'll do the ones that are not possible for her to do. Put it in. Tighten it. Slowly. Back. Go back. Tighten it again. You're done. You want to give it another click just to see? Go back. Give a click. Push. You're done. Next. Do the bottom one. Same procedure. Then go back. Get some more. Again. Now go back in here and click again. Okay, you're done. Okay, go ahead. And back. Get some more. Get some more. There you go. Let it click again. Stop. You're good. Middle one. One more click. Good. You're done. I'll do the last one. Now we're going to put the cover back on. Same thing? Same thing. Here you go. Good. Done. We've dumped the rolling oil pan into my main oil drain pan. 
Gonna fish out the oil filter and the bolt now. Watch out. There's the bolt. Clean this off with a paper towel. Long after the oil finished draining, we ended up having to do stuff and never got back to it. And only the next day now, so much more oil just slowly dripped out, having left it alone. You can see it's just quite a bit if you leave it there, if you got that kind of time. And, and we do, there, there's no oil left in this bike at this point. No oil at all. And this is like hours after it drained and we removed the pan and put down a piece of paper towel. And this is just oil soaked. So good, we're gonna close this up. Make it shine. Good job. <laughs> All thanks. Now we're gonna put the bolt back in. Go get him. Oh, I'm there. Should usually tighten it, but since we have to use a crow's foot, I'm gonna do the tightening. So now it's my turn. So now we're gonna fill the oil. We drew straws. I got the short straw, so I'm down here. She's gonna hold it with the bike straight. We'll remove the filler cap. Use a funnel, because I don't want to make a mess. First. Yeah. Using Yamalube 10W40. Check where you live before you decide what type of oil you're using. Consult with your dealer and all that stuff. I'm going to be looking through the inspection glass on the bottom. Right now there's nothing in this bike, so... It is hard to see that inspection glass from here, but I'm I'm pouring a little and I'm I'm taking a look. Especially since it does fill up the glass like that. I think that was caught in the camera as you pour it in. So you have to wait for it to settle through the glass, unfortunately, on this bike. We see right now it's on the glass now dropping down from the glass. Not a wonderful design right there, but whatever. We can see right here, right on the money, it's halfway up the glass. Perfectly filled. We're gonna run the bike now after we close the cap. That's it. And that's it. So I hope you found this video on the oil change and filter change for the Star 650 enjoyable and helpful. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Would you like to reply?